Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 essential iPhone apps that every iPhone user should have on their iPhone in 2020. These are very, very useful apps that will help you a lot performing different tasks on your iPhone in 2020. So here are 10 essential iPhone apps that every user should have. The first app for the video is Google Photos. Now this is a must have app as it allows you to upload your videos and your pictures to Google and of course free up storage on your iPhone. And that's very, very useful, especially if you have an iPhone with lower capacity, you know that pictures and videos will take most of that space. But with Google Photos, you can upload all of your photos there and of course you will have access to them on any device that you have just by signing in with that email that you use to upload your pictures. Now you can upload unlimited number of pictures as if they are like lower than 16 megapixels and of course videos up to 1080p with unlimited storage and that's really really awesome you can upload like a ton of pictures and have all of them right there in one place now this is the app right here you can select pictures or you can go to one of them just tap the upload button it will upload that file that's very very easy to use of course the app has all the features for free it is really really awesome and of course you also can go ahead and edit your pictures directly from here from the app you will have a ton of tools in order to edit your pictures if you want to do that before uploading them to google the next app for the video is called pocket and this one allows you to save like different articles so that you can read them even if your device is not connected to the internet so you see like a news or something that you want to read an article that you want to read later you want to have it saved so that you can read that even if you're like traveling you don't have access to internet you can do that with this app called pocket now all you gotta do so let's say we're here on safari we're on the web page and i want to save this just tap the share button and go here and find the pocket icon if you don't see it tap on more and you will see it right here here we have pocket and just like that as you can see it will be saved then what you can do is just go to the pocket app even if your device is not connected to the internet and you should see all the saved like articles right here on the list and what you got to do is just tap on it then you can go ahead and read that even with your device being not connected to the internet so any article that you want you can save for later and then read that on this app called pocket now when it comes to listening to podcasts overcast is a must-have app for your iphone it has a ton of features now of course we have like the podcast app from apple but this one has way more features now you will have like different features here so if you go to podcast you can choose if you want to just stream it or you want to download it and of course if you go ahead and play it you will have like different features here so if you go you can set like this read the speed of the listening you want to make it just run faster you can do that from here and you will also have like different features that you probably won't notice but this app will do automatically in the background like if you're listening to a podcast and there is a pause like on the podcast it will skip that so you don't waste your time like waiting for the podcast to start or something it will just go ahead and skip that so many many extra features that you won't find on the podcast app of apple now when it comes to pdfs the acrobat app is a must have one it has a ton of features allowing you to edit annotate or even sign your pdf files so you can see right here will have different locations so you can have your pdfs that you have locally on the phone you will have the documents on the cloud from the dropbox or if you tap on more locations here you can choose any of the files that you have on your files app so if you go to pdf file of course from here you will be able to go ahead and edit them you can view them like this or if you want to edit them then you can go ahead and add different like pictures you can go ahead and tap that button right there to add a comment to fill something or if you want to sign it so if you tap right here fill and sign you will have the ability to just like add text if you want to right there so you can see you can add any text you want on a pdf or you can tap right there and you can go ahead and add your signature so you can see here i have mine so let's just tap on it and you can of course go ahead and resize that and you can just basically change the color or do anything you want and of course place it anywhere you want on the pdf file 
Altar is the next app for the video. This is a basically note taking app or voice recorder, whatever you want to call it. But basically it allows you to take notes by recording your voice. So you say something, it records the voice and then it will transcript that into text. So let's just try it out. So I'll tap this button right here to start. This is a test recording. And once you're done, you tap the stop button and you can see it's processing right now and let's just wait for this to be done so it should be in a few seconds here the note is currently processing of course it will take like a few seconds to basically transcript what you say into text so as you can see it is now ready so that took about 15 to 20 seconds to get the note ready and you can see right there it has transcripted that into text so you can of course have your voice recording as well as like take a note so you will have the text right there this is very very useful like if you're on a meeting or somewhere you want to record something you tap the record button and you're good to go you will have that as a text and of course as a note as a voice recording as well and you can see right here if you see anything wrong you can go ahead and edit that using the edit tool now when it comes to vpn apps unlimited vpn proxy is a must have and this one is totally free that's what will make it more awesome so any location that you want to connect you can do that for free so this is the home screen of the app right here you tap there on fastest location and it allows you to choose between different locations or you can of course just leave it on fastest location and it will automatically connect but if you want to connect to a specific country or city you tap there and you will see a long list of different cities and countries here where you can connect so if we tap right here usa west it will show us the cities right here tap on one of them and it will of course go ahead and connect to that city so let's just tap right there allow the vpn and you can see right now it will connect so as easy as that you can connect to any country or city that you want totally for free the next app for the video is called a notable and this one is like an advanced markup app for your iPhone. Now, when you take a screenshot or on your pictures on your iPhone, you will have the markup tools, but this one is way more advanced. So you just load a picture from your library, you tap right there and you will have all these different tools. So you wanna just like point out something, you can do that with a square like this. Of course, you can change the color here. You can make it like thicker or thinner right there. So that's really really cool as well if you tap here of course you will have all the tools you want to hide something you can do that with this one right here so just tap right there and you will be able to like do different stuff here so go ahead place that like this and as you can see it will like add that pixelation right there if you want to hide something on a screenshot or on a picture so you will have like different tools of course you can add text and all that and here you can see it has like a few like tools that have a red dot those are paid features but most of them are totally free so these ones right here and that one are paid the other ones you can use totally for free now when it comes to editing pictures on your iphone of course you have the stock tools that you get with your ios device or you can basically get any app there are a ton of them on the app store but snapseed from google is one that you must have and it's of course totally free and the tools that this app has to offer are just amazing so right here once you load a picture from your camera roll you will have like a ton of different filters that you can apply to your pictures directly from here now once you're done you tap the button right there then you will have the tools here so if you go to your tools you can see here the number of tools is just enormous you can do anything like from tuning the image like change the brightness and all that stuff from here so you can see you have that slider at the top that allows you to do that that's really awesome and you will have other tools as well of course you can go ahead and rotate your pictures change the perspective change the white balance and basically do anything that you want with your pictures you can see a ton of tools here you can of course add text as well if you want to add text to your pictures you will have a ton of different styles that you can use right here pretty pretty amazing and of course you tap the export button once you're done and you can go ahead and share this or just save that into the camera roll of your device the next app for the video is called drafts now this is a note-taking app with more features that you will get 
on the notes app of ios so of course you can take like go ahead and take a lot of like notes on this app and you will have a bunch of tools so right there you can see a text that i can add right there i can go ahead and select that text and i can turn it all of that into uppercase or lowercase or anything i want so i will have all these like different tools right here you can see all that really really awesome now if we go here tap on that button you will see a list of all your notes and of course you will have the flagged ones right there so if you flag a note you will see that right there so notes that you have like more important you can flag them and you will see them right there that's really really cool so this is drafts an advanced note taking app for your ios device a must have app in 2020. now when it comes to translating stuff google translate is the best of them it has a ton of features to offer like you can simply paste a text here to translate it and of course tap right there to switch between different languages you will have there a search bar to search for any language you want not just text you can use your camera to basically scan any text you want and it will translate that for you or you can just do handwriting or you can even translate a conversation so you tap right there you choose two different languages right here and of course it will basically go ahead and translate that into the other language as you can see it right here is doing this right now automatically as i'm talking so that's really really cool so amazing having that feature and of course you want to talk to someone you can do that using google translate now if you go to settings right here you can go ahead and go to offline translation and you can download different languages so you can use translation even if your device is not connected to internet just tap the plus button and choose any language that you want and then it will go ahead and download that language so you will have it saved for offline translation so that is it for this video guys these are 10 apps that are essential and every iphone user should have them on their device in 2020 i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys on the next one